Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Java programming tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see what is an exception in Java and how we can handle exceptions in Java using try catch block. So first of all, what is an exception? By the official definition, an exception is an event which occurs during the execution of the program, which can disrupt the normal flow of the program's instruction. Okay, so let me give you an example. For example, I declare an integer variable and I initialize it by some value, for example, 100. Okay, and then I divide it by zero. And we all know that whenever some integer is divided by zero, it gives us infinity. And Java program is not able to handle uh, this situation, right? So let's uh, try to print something. For example, sys out, and I'm going to print uh, this line after the declaration of this variable like this. So when I run the program, if I see this, that means this declaration is valid for me, right? Because uh, it, this initialization is successful and I will be able to see this uh, line. If I will not be able to see this line, that means the initialization fails. So I'm going to save this program and I'm going to run my program. And you see in the console, the exception in thread main occurs and Java gives us the location of the uh, exception or error and this is at line six which is this one right and which exception occurs here arithmetic exception occurs so this infinity is not handled by the java okay now in these situation where java is not able to handle uh, this exceptional situation what we can do is we can catch this exception by using a try catch block. So normally how we can write a try catch block, just write try and then this curly braces and end the curly brace. And after that you need a catch. So catch and in the brackets, you give the situation you, you, which you want to handle and in here in the catch you can uh, print the situation or you can uh, do whatever you want to do after handling the exceptional situation okay so now i'm going to place my code inside this try catch block okay and here is the exception we want to handle. So this code is throwing this exception called arithmetic exception, okay? So we want to handle this here. So just write arithmetic exception and then give the variable name, okay? And in here, you can even uh, print this uh, value of the exception which is thrown, which is th this exception exactly, but let's run the program and then see what happens. So now when I run the program, I can see this line printed. That means the exception is thrown, but it's caught by this try catch block. And then we come to the next line of code and we are able to print this line. Now, in order to handle the situation after the exception. So for example, we want to know which exception is thrown by this try catch block inside this we can handle this situation of exception for example i want to print this exceptional situation so this arithmetic exception will handle this uh, infinity situation and we can print it using this uh, e object of arithmetic operation so we, to print this exception we can just write system out print line and e okay and let's uh, save this program and run it once again and now we can see this uh, exception is printed. This is due to this line, okay? And then our normal program execution is happening, which is printing this line, okay? Now, 
in this try catch blocks you can add multiple catch blocks so you can handle multiple uh, you know exceptional situations okay so for example i can do something like this i'm catching this exception arithmetic as exception and i want to uh, handle one more exception which is the general kind of exception i don't know what kind of exception this is this so i will uh, use this general exception okay and then i'm going to print this okay and now also it's going to uh, execute the same program in the same way but in the case of uh, exception other than this exception which is uh, this one this code is going to execute okay so now let's add some more exceptional situation so for example i will declare a variable which is an array outside my try catch block and inside my try catch block i want to print uh, the third element of the array we know that the initialization of array uh, is with index 2 so third element is out of scope of this uh, array right so let's uh, print this and i'm going to declare it as variable b because a is already here okay and i'm going to print here the value of b3 so the value of uh, b at index 3 okay and uh, i'm just going to write and plus okay this i want to execute now let's see what happens I'm going to save this program and run this and it's going to give me this arithmetic op op exception once again due to this line so let's let me comment this line for now okay and let me save this once again and run the program once again and now you can see this exception different exception is thrown and which is caught by this bigger exception or the exception which has uh, more priority for example okay so this exception which is array index out of bound exception is handled by this general exception here which is this line okay so if you uh, don't believe me let's uh, comment this code and this code here okay so and let's run the program once again and you see the same exception so it is caught by this exception okay you can even do just copy this exceptional uh, condition here and paste it here okay and then it's going to give the same result which is uh, array index out of bound exception okay so exception class is a general class if you don't know which exception is thrown by your code you can use this exception otherwise if you know that uh, your code can uh, you know throw arithmetic exception or array index out of bound exception then you can uh, you know handle the specific exception and always remember that you can add multiple catch blocks with your try block okay so one catch block two catch block you can even handle three catch block and in this situation for example i want to handle this array index out of bound and when you do something like this it's going to give you this error bubble here and it says unreachable catch or let me save the program and run it and let's say what it says it's a unreachable catch uh, block why because this general exception class has more priority than this uh, array index out of bound exception so this should come at the last okay so when i do something like this i'm going to cut this and i'm going to paste this below this um, array out of bound exception here then my error will be gone so always remember this exception class should go at the last okay 
and other exception like arithmetic or index out of bound will be above it because they have the lesser priority okay and it's this exception is more general exception you want to handle okay so in this way exception works in java and you can handle exceptions using try catch block i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe and bye for now